Greetings, citizen. It is that Swiss Army nigga, I seen Black, and I'm here to ask you to please go ahead on iTunes and rate and review us, because you know, if we even tickled your funny bone a little bit, we gotta see that support. What's up, y'all? One love. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Jordan Maddox, from the Physics Study Group, hashtag TBSG, and we just want to reach out to, you know, the locals in our city. We want to connect with you, so if you want us to sponsor your stuff on our podcast, whatever it is, then sit us up at squadcast88 at gmail.com. Holla. In a new and permanent location. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Welcome to the official Word T P S G Studio. Yes. No, no, Loca- not official. No, yet. Lo- located at the um, T P S G Studios. Located at the <laughs> northwest campus of, of the, the station. Big up the station. Yo, big up the station. One Yo. time, but located look. on Alligator's Foot Alley. We are back, guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Shit. Hot it's, damn. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It you know who it is. Uh, it has been a hot... Oh, yes. Yeah, go ahead. My bad. It has been... Who is that over there? I don't you know, know who it I is. We're going to run through these introductions real quick because you already know who it is. I know you've been waiting. It's your boy, I seen Black, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Swiss Army Nigga. Hey. I know you've been waiting. Swiss Army um, Nigga for this good shit. Hey. Swiss <laughs> Army Nigga. Oh, right, 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 okay, right, okay, Just as past times, we have to continue. All right. We got to continue. Yo, I low-key feel like he rushed through that just so he could sing. Swiss Army Nigga. No, you're not going to do it. Yo, sorry, sorry. Just like my real life conversations. I just keep tugging people back in. <laughs> All right. Pause just in case. <laughs> Pause, oh, this bro. your boy, Dramatic, a.k.a. Wavy McBeard. Ah. Uh, a.k.a. A- B.K.A. Uh, Skip Beardless. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Also known as Black Galifianakis and, you know, I'm that guy. Right, 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 right. Not to sound cocky, but I mean, come on. <laughs> nah, let me oh yeah, get over it next day. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your favorite low key, high key, every key. Um, Flakazulu, aka Nicodemus, aka what about three fourths key. Pablo Escovich, aka No More, aka Stop the Violence. Because <laughs> AKAs cause violence. Yes. Not to be confused with the uh, sorority, aka. And not to be confused with otherwise known as. Anyway. <laughs> hey, guys, are we just going to do the whole, like, sitcom new season act like the character wasn't there anymore? Or are we Oh, gonna... like they did oh, address yeah. the fact oh. that. <laughs> Yo, on the uh, side note, shout out to Dark Skin Aunt Viv. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Dark Skin Aunt Viv. Yo, I, I, you were my favorite. Word, shout and out. She kept it 100. And that's she why. She kept it a thou. Word, you word. They couldn't handle it, dog. But um, you know how you feel about you know. Yes. Well, anyway, so well, so, ba- well, so basically, Mr. Speak- Boomaye was theater yes. trained, and and we were just yeah. kids from the street that was uh, used to be rappers. And, <laughs> um, essentially, he left because we weren't professional enough. <laughs> well, and he- um, AKA the dark skinned and viv reference. <laughs> yeah, guys didn't get it out there. Ah, yes, yeah. So um, Mr. Boomaye is on a mission right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, a yeah. a love to him though because um, you know. Uh, creative differences or not, you know what I'm saying? Like, we know you went to theater school. We know you don't like <laughs> us playing loud music in between reading our scripts. We understand, but the thing you know is... you read Shakespeare in the show. <laughs> this story is completely... Big up, Big up, Yo, Big up, Mr. Boomer. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He, he, has some, he, he has some business to do in Narnia. M- much yeah. love to you, Word. your exploits. I hope you brought the sword with you. Word. Word. Yes. Word. Yeah, never this, leave house with well, never leave not house the regular sword, never leave home but another sword. You know what I'm saying? I think we just went on our first Wild Ass Tangent and back to season it. two. I miss out, it. Out I the gate. It. Back so, to it. Word. So we just yeah. gonna call this season two for reasons. Um but, but um yes, season two. Word. Out right with a TPSG. Wild ass. By myself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> solo. Solo. <laughs> nah, but but honestly, um, hey, it feels good to be back, honestly. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's been a long time coming. I've February. been I've been back to punching walls instead of talking about my thoughts and feelings on the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this was therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> therapeutic. Nah. They get it 20 push ups a day. Look at them. Wait. <laughs> we thought we thought you needed us. I probably look the same. <laughs> we thought you needed us. We found out we need y'all. So we're here. 
and we okay. ain't going nowhere. You felt that? We're pulling in the field. Yeah, until we take a break <laughs> for season three. Well, yeah. so, <laughs> who knows well, when that's going to happen? Where, uh-huh. <laughs> so, for y'all listening, when, we when just we, shrugged our shoulders and but smiled. Like, <laughs> when, we, when, we shoot, when we shoot the movie. But, um, yeah, we, we, we missed a lot since February, my nigga. Where we need a February. do a quick recap of things missed because we know y'all right. really wanted to hear what we had to say. I mean, come on. Word. But so, first, <laughs> yes. we have to start out with, you know, a little revolutionary shit. Word. In my opinion, you know, people talk down on their bomb. Black Panther. Yes. Oh, we that's where never we got at. a chance to talk about that. Yes. Oh, my God. The Black, retrospect. The In Black retrospect. Panther. <laughs> my God. Yo, we... And we wanted to do that episode before. Like, like we yeah, got it. Yeah, like, no, we have to go. It out. didn't work Man, out. Man. My brother, Black Panther is another ploy to bring witchcraft into the black community. <laughs> what, what? Oh, man, all that aside, I, I, if it is, it was amazing. It was amazing. Oh, my God, I watched it twice, three times, maybe. Yeah. Now, what, I, what I love is that it's setting a trend, dog, because I feel like Hollywood is getting little bit, little by little, little by yeah. little, little, a little bit little. more blackity black, black, and I like yeah. it. I like it. Even though it's still not black enough for my life. Not black enough. Not even close. But but, But y'all getting there. I see you. You trying. As soon as you go fuck up like you usually do. (laughs) Well, I mean. Because this is just another version of fucking 80s. It's about that time. (laughs) No, no, no. Remember early two. Late 90s, early 2000s was a great black film. No, no, no. no, It was, but. It's going to be. It was just, you know, the. Platform and everything. Mm-hmm. Right. It's, it's, it's actually it's probably shifting apparently. back to TV now. <laughs> true. true, true. More yes. than film. True. Yes, way it's, more. But it's one of those movies where it's like you remember because it's like you're gonna you're gonna tell the story about like oh the first time you saw Black Panther, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, I saw that shit 4D. When, <laughs> when Forrest Whitaker said he stripped the black, I felt that nigga spit hit my forehead. Like, <laughs> yo, yo, when Killmonger threw him over the, the like oh down the waterfall, God. I was but, like, oh wait, hold on, spoiler alert for y'all who haven't oh, sorry. seen it. Spoiler alert. No, I mean, no, no, no. I just, we, months, we still have know, to say spoiler. spoiler. Oh, no, it just came out already. So. No, first of true, all, true. if you haven't seen Black Panther yet, you're not black enough yeah, for this yeah. podcast. If you first went to Avengers and was like, where's Killmonger? You still Killmonger. I wanted to see Michael Jordan. Your Avengers. <laughs> Watch the fucking movie. But anyway, but yeah, it like it. And um, sorry, lost my train of thought. Oh. To mention Killmonger, <laughs> best villain I've seen since the Joker in the he's Dark Knight. Real shit. He's a damn good villain. I didn't say he was really? better or he's comparable, but he's the best I've seen since then. Really? Because every other villain, I notice is are always like overpowered. So, I'm sorry, overpowered, and you know they get defeated easily and everything. What I feel, no, I feel and like. And on top of that, Killmonger's, um, Kill, Killmonger's, um, well, he, he MO made, he was made more you almost question why you were like siding with him while he was giving his speeches. Word. No, it, no, that's what, true. Like, he, that's <laughs> true. Later in the movie, he, he, he gave you reason, like, you know what? I don't know about following you now. He's the dude who you voted for. And then when he gets elected, he's like, and we're going to kill all their families. And you're like, whoa. <laughs> like right, for this. right at for the this. end of the speech Vi- when yeah. you thought you was like, yeah, he's right, man. We've been disenfranchised. Mm, We've been casted out. Part. Y'all haven't cared about us. And y'all have had all these resources. And we're going to, wait, what? You're going to who? And then, gonna, and then all oh, the, damn. And then damn, all, all of a sudden Trump <laughs> happens. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. He uh, said chills down my spine. Uh, word. <laughs> damn. <laughs> but yeah, Killmonger was a great villain. The movie was great overall. And, you know, it brought black people together. Word. There's nothing I, wrong with that. I saw, I, saw, I saw Shabby's face when you're like, oh, Killmonger is one of the best villains. I feel, like, like, his, really? I feel like his... The, he was. The way, yeah, no, I was looking for, no, for because, a better villain, but I don't watch a lot of movies. Because, Thank you. It's because, no, no, better Marvel villain. It's because the, 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 oh, just, okay. the, just the like writing. Marvel. I felt like you weren't convinced with Michael B. Jordan. I was, actually. You were? Okay. I was, well, actually. I, I it's like when I look back at it a little bit, and I'm like, well, oh, yeah, we did have a conversation about this, and that's actually a really good conversation, so I'm going to say it real quick. Basically, <laughs> 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 Michael B. Jordan in all of his movies for certain reasons, it still feels like you're watching Michael B. Jordan. Mm. He's great. He actually felt like Killmonger until you realize he didn't have an Oakland accent. Mm. And um, 
Just certain. Th- it's his voice though too. It's yeah. like he kind of talked from the back of his throat, and he has wow, that same emotional. That. Yeah, you get. Well, I guess you pay attention to like his enunciation, high all those things, his pronunciations, <laughs> and he'll, he, yeah, he's like kind of like, uh, like he talks yeah. from the back of his throat, like Nas kind of, and um, and and it's the same in every movie. His voice is so distinct, even his like his uh, what is it? His tone mm. in which he speaks is very distinct and mm. noticeable. So it's like it's like oh Michael B Jordan, but Killmonger was the closest where he had me like convinced. Let me not lie, I'm not, I shouldn't even say this. Black community gonna kill me, but speak your mind, nigga. I did not watch Fruitvale Station. Oh, me neither. I've I didn't seen watch it. I've seen the real video. No, and, I haven't even seen the real much. video. Oh God, no, Yo, I can't watch it. I didn't bro. sleep that night, and mm. I usually sleep like nothing, no matter what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but a, a big thing with Michael B Jordan, he grew up reading the comics, like him and right. him and um the director. Coogler, I, uh, know the comics like back word. and forth. So, oh, I'm not downplaying you know I mean? it. I wasn't actually. I think he was extremely convincing. By the way, I was just kind of pointing out that if Michael B. No, Jordan never hears this, flaws. if Michael B. Jordan never hears this, if he can somehow overcome those things that I just mentioned, that maybe others may notice, he's gonna be one of the greatest black actors ever. Word. First of all, if Michael <laughs> B. Jordan hears this, just uh. This shit to out. all your friends. Yeah, exactly. Share the Kugler, shake the... Yo, you know what? Exactly. Avery Duvernay. Try Who not, am I? Share the Kerry Washington. Share the Dave. Who am I? I know you know that you Try not to punch Shabby in the face. And yeah. just share with your friends. Yeah, Michael and B. Send Lapita you know Longo my best he go, wishes. Whoa. He gonna hate me, man. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> what do you know? What do you, nah, it, and that's true. What do I know? I didn't study. I know study. Black Panther was fucking awesome. Right. <laughs> yeah. I tell you that much there. great. Word. That shit was great. Nah, I, I'm only saying that because like I was in the theater like, yeah, nigga, when he was talking all that shit. <laughs> like, Why am I agreeing with this? And then remember, Black Panther went to his ancestors, you know the... Oh, man. He was like, why Why did you hide this from people? Yo, now I look like the back <laughs> That's basically what he was saying. That's exactly yo, what he said. I feel- <laughs> Why did you share this? But you uh, put this on me. You got me out here looking like you got me out here. You got me out here looking like a jackass, pops. But yo, I didn't even this know. This my cousin. This yo, my hold first hold cousin. I feel like life just have, has its like perfect callbacks automatically. Because <laughs> that, that that whole scene. Fast forward. We're talking Pusha T and Drake. Yeah. And oh the, wow, bro. Wow. I feel like. See, I, that, I feel like, all right. I, that's not the same battle. Though. No, no, no. There was a meme made. And the way I laughed at this meme, <laughs> it was I, like a little video when it was like the, the Black Panther, like when he visited his ancestors, and he was uh-huh. like, he was like, why did you leave the boy? <laughs> and it was like, push it in. Oh, oh, yeah. Yo, <laughs> did, I laughed for, for why 20 did you minutes straight. And boy? in my mind, like, if, if, that, if that little video was all that became of Black Panther, like, well, I, was, I was like, it was <laughs> worth it. Damn, that was <laughs> worth it. Yo, was did, did y'all was see hilarious. the did y'all see the V with the Fresh Prince episode when his pops came? <laughs> yeah, <he's like laughs> and what and does Pusha, pop T, say? Pusha T was Uncle Phil. And yeah, his pops yeah. was Trey. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what am I supposed to do? Huh? <laughs> 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 I have a relationship with him. Did he say some shit like this? Is how it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, y'all fast forward a little bit. Well, yeah, hey, my bad. Yo, this Pusha T Drake thing. Hey, are we gonna talk about this? No, so we're, like gonna, we're like gonna revisit it soon. Okay, oh, no, 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 soon. It. Nah, well, it's over. Oh. Jay Prince done oh, squashed it, probably. Oh yeah, that that's another conspiracy. So about it. first okay. of all, I don't know about like shout team. out to Jay Prince is who he is. You know, that's so not a conspiracy. Really that's business. <laughs> oh yeah, right. no, that's another thing. Yeah, it's business it's or obvious. whatever it is. Do you believe him? Believe of course him. not. Are you kidding? No, no, no. I believe yo. No, I don't. I don't all of believe these Drake things, has a response written. Oh, that? Oh, that? Um no, I, I, I believe, believe Drake it. wrote a response. Do I believe it was a career ending response? I don't know, just like anything else, because I don't judge it before I hear it. But that sounds so terrible. Look, I don't <laughs> think I think Drake had a response that Jay Prince probably thought was career ending. I don't know. No, Jay like Prince is saying that to save face because Drake's his investment. He has to make his investment mm-hmm. look good at all costs. Mm-hmm. That's what I see it as. Because, it, like... It was getting outside know. the realm of rap. This, that's the point I was trying to make. Yeah. It was it, it was going to the um, um, the Tupac hit him up. Yeah. Like it was there. My nigga said it was you getting are there. Hiding a child. It was getting there, man. Like <laughs> Drake, that boy come and, home. And, and and Drake being 
Yo. He Drake, we know Drake can be disrespectful. He would probably gonna come back and just say some wild shit. No, he wouldn't. Maybe career no, ending meant like, yo, somebody getting hurt. You know what I mean? Because what if yo, you meant career ending as in he's gonna say this and push the T is gonna kill him? No, that's what. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's what exactly if he meant it that way? That's kind of what I was alluding to. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. But uh, those are some nice glasses, man. <laughs> pause. And uh, <laughs> how's that pause? Dramatic. It's not oh, pause. Thanks. And uh, <laughs> no, I no got them for uh for my. Don't say, don't tell nobody, man. It's they exclusive. Ain't give me no money. Yeah, That's exclusive. exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Handmade got, by Dramatic. He got them from somewhere, <laughs> from someplace. Now they on his face. <laughs> 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 but anyway, and all right, uh, there's a comedian. There's a comedian named Roy Wood Jr. Okay. He told us. He told us hilarious ass stories. A uh, story about how uh, he was doing prank calls, mm-hmm. and then somebody at a record label wanted him <clears> to do an album. And they gave him all these exclusive contacts. They gave him Jay Prince. They gave him Master P. This, that. They gave a whole bunch of celebrities. And um, basically in the story, Jay Prince didn't take the prank call pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he basically was trying to ask him where, he was like, where you at? He was like, and he said he got nervous. He's like, where are you? He was like, oh, I'm at so-and-so studios. Oh, I know where you at. He's like, driver, turn around. He said, this is what Jay Prince was saying. <laughs> and he said he wrapped up everything and went back to Bur- um, Alabama. He said he was wow. in Houston for four hours. <laughs> wow. And you know what I'm saying? I know I Jay Prince is you. respected. I but ain't lie to you. Who, who was that? Roy Wood. Jr. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But <laughs> I'm getting to this point. At the end of his tweet thread, uh-huh. he said, oh, Jay Prince has a memoir coming out soon. Go buy it. And I click it. And it was like yeah, he does. a foreword by who? Wait, what? He has a memoir coming out. Like a book? Jay Prince. And someone's doing the foreword. Okay. And you know who's doing the forward? Who? Drake. Ah. He's protecting his investment. Come ah. on, man. Damn. He's and he knows how Drake's fans Drake. are. All Drake's fans wanted to hear they was gonna ride with him, good probably. news. Yeah. Like, that's all he wanted to forget. Oh, man. They Drake. were devastated. Drake oh, he has something. Oh, thank God. Oh, Drake. See, Pusher. See, he See, had something it. for you. He had a but cor- Jay Prince said no, so you lucky. Duh. That's how they gonna escape this shit. Duh, Drake fans, they, they, Yo, your they, got they ride smoked. so hard, dog. Like, <laughs> I'm a Your call, fave I, got smoked. I call them drizzles. <laughs> <laughs> little Drake, uh, little Drake's, so oh, little man. drizzles. But um, shout out to the drizzles. Yeah, it's it's all a ploy, in my opinion. Yeah, I ain't going against any fan in bases. My opinion, but I get murked. <laughs> I don't need to go against any fan bases. I don't care enough about the artists. I promise you. <laughs> to like Drake, go against a million people. Drake is a Drake is the type of artist is like. You just take them song by song. You know what I'm saying? You know you're going to come up with a couple of songs you like. But to say, hey, I'm a diehard Drake fan is like, what do you, what are really. Uh... What was his first album? What was the first project? I think Thank Where You Later Drake was from? dope. Was he an actor? Or I think rapper? Take Care was dope. I no, Take like, Care is his best album. I feel like he was doing his best stuff before he signed the Young Money. Like definitely, his man. Stuff. Definitely, man. Uh, so Far Gone. The original one, not the one you get in like, yeah, stores the, the or streaming on Apple tri- uh, Apple Music. Like the one with uh, Leaky Lee and... Yeah. Or Leaky Lee? Well, I don't know how to pronounce it. When um, him and Trey Song look like yeah, a damn man. group at one point. <laughs> <laughs> For real, man. Remember, Trey Song's first brought... Was on Drake's first single before Young Money, but anyway, yeah. we we not gonna go on a Drake. Yeah, tangent. they're not gonna go on a Drake tangent, but shout out to. S- and gonna, another gonna thing, thing I noticed about this beef, we can make this the last thing we talk about on if y'all want. How sensitive people are talking about. Oh, he went too far. He went too far. Mm. Let me paint a picture what for you. Was saying. No, no, yeah. Let me everyone. paint a picture for you. Mm. All Pusha did was mention he had a son, mm. call him a deadbeat. Mm. Call his father deadbeat. Mm. Call his call his mom. She can't be chosen. <laughs> you so. just said yeah, all he did. No, he basically and co- said. And he said his his his. He called, the worst one in my opinion was call his father Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> what he was saying was like how you, he was like how you gonna parade your pops around like that, but your mom like where's she at? Yeah, exactly. Mm. You, you know, know what she saying? was in the start. Now everybody the saying, video. She he's had her. In no, no, things. no. You're right. Everybody's saying, oh, oh, that's too far. That's disrespectful. I read on Twitter. I'm not sure how true it is, but being who it's who it's about, I believe it's true. It's about Gucci Mane. Mm. Um, I don't know if you remember him and um, Jeezy had beef, and Jeezy sent two niggas to kill him, and Gucci Mane killed one of them niggas. Mm. And somebody said that he like he wrote a diss song about Jeezy and the nigga he killed, mm. and he went and performed it in that nigga's hometown. Oh shit, where that nigga is from. So don't wow. tell me about disrespectful. Wow. And then the the greatest example. Hit him up. 
Yeah. That's man. why I fucked your wife, you fat, fat. motherfucker. Yeah. Before the beat started. <clears throat> like, that's what let it you It was like, know, oh like, my God. This is, God. this is personal now. Your first punch is a haymaker yeah. in this boxing match. Like, <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's not even... People who said, oh, he went too far. It's like, have you not heard Ice Cube? Dog, no. Nope. The name of the song yeah, is but No the, Vaseline. Yeah, there. but that song stuck to the point. Like, mm. it was just about what they were arguing about and each person that was involved. And mm. that was pretty much it. That's exactly yeah. what's going on. Drake revealed that Pusha T wasn't a big drug dealer and Pusha T re- revealed he's a deadbeat yeah, dad. It's the he, same thing. But he was sort of disrespectful talking about Drake's parents. Like, you, no, it wasn't. Right, no, no, it wasn't. Let, let me, no, let me bring it back. You don't always say your let mama and your daddy. Back. Let me bring that back. Come on, man. What, no. what the point Jay Prince was trying to make was that it was getting to a point where niggas are going to get offended in a certain way where it's going to get personal and people because can get a nigga hurt. did already Drake exactly exactly but he not gonna say it like that that's his he investment. doesn't need to he should have said anything because that's gonna be what people think first it don't niggas matter, get man. this it don't no matter. no Drake get this Drake it don't get that. matter but anyway I just Drake, don't feel like it's it's the twentieth worst thing I've heard in a rap matter. song because these yeah, you know what I'm saying like all, Drake, all the Drake's fans are still gonna be listening to Drake. And, exactly, and it doesn't new, even matter. And and Drake's gonna keep growing. And at, well, he's but, still but dancing. He might be nice at his peak, what? honestly. Do, 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 awesome song. Do, by the way. do you think it'll hurt it? Hurt him at all? Like the fact it'll that he, a, no, it'll hurt him a little. I, I feel like I feel Male like his fan core base. fans are are women. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, he's but, he's, but we don't know. But we don't Kuja. know what's happening though. Maybe. We don't know the whole story yet. No, but I'm just so saying. We just that, gotta wait. Just the whole the whole fact that like was like. Has how much has Drake commented on about this matter? Except he hasn't commented on anything except the blackface. Mm. Well, because you know that's way more offensive than to being a dead. Exactly. Family. So what I'm saying is we don't know what's gonna happen yet. So we can't say it's over. It's not over. <coughs> we gotta see what happens. Okay, what I got the you. deal is what 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 emerges from. All this? right, stick Word. a pin in it. When they figure it out, then we'll then we'll read have it. another Word. podcast about it. Word, but yo. Don't know. And some good some good albums came out. Yeah, it was some it, it was some good music released. That was we missed a lot of stuff. Where, that was, um, that was Daytona. Such a, that was such a bro, oh, um, yeah. transition as a skirt. But yeah, no, Daytona. no, push it, T. Daytona. Bring, nah, push it back. Push it back. <laughs> push it back. Uh, Wait, push Monet, it. Push it back. Dirty computer. Oh yeah, you said that was good. I haven't checked it out. Wild experimental. I didn't. I didn't finish it. I feel bad. I'm a Janelle Monet fan. Oh, another great album. No news is good news by Fonte. Mm-hmm. Oh, that album's oh, so man. fucking a surprise, good. Surprise, like for someone who hasn't been following music like he should lately. Or, and Kod, yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, K- we, oh, how can I we, forget Kod? We yes. would be remiss if we didn't if we did not mention. Incredible. Ben from his home away. He did the he hard as shit. With. That's why shit. <laughs> nah, but J Cole did it again. And well, he um, did J Cole. We're um. <laughs> I'm not, I, I forget how old it was. I don't know if it was this year or late last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Feather's a mighty long time. Was that last year or this year? Yeah, I oh, think. Yeah, we, we did we talk about it? If that we did, talk, if we didn't year. talk about it, that's we another did, excellent did. album. We Word. didn't talk about Feather's a mighty long yeah. time. Yes, because I remember talking about Confetti. Yeah, because okay. that's my favorite track. Okay. okay, even if we did talk about it, there's Yo. no talking about it enough. Big yeah. Crit doesn't get his just due. He just so we're gonna talk yeah. about it again. Prime Fuck two. It. Prime hey, Crit, two. we love you had as a guest. Word. Prime two. DJ Premier and you you um, you let me listen to a little bit of the uh, five nine prime two drop that was dope for you hip hop heads. Mm-hmm. Yo, trust me, anytime them two niggas get together, it's a masterpiece. Yo, ASAP Rocky dropped and oh, I didn't nah, listen it's to it. Terrible reviews. I haven't listened to it yet, but I kind of like the 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 single he has out for it. What single is that? Damn, it forever. ASAP forever. What's the name of um? What's the name of the album? Future. Mo- he sampled that Moby track. Um, huh? Wait, what's the name of the album? Tried? It's called uh oh shoot. I don't even know, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's crazy. Like when that's what's bad. What was his album before this? Who whose album? Um, <laughs> that's a that's it's how that rock, it was yeah. um at uh, long last, right? long last, love live, blah blah blah. blah. At, I it, think the latest one, three L L L whatever ASAP. I haven't really gotten to ASAP. I don't know why. No, no, I fucks with him because he's He's really like, he's old. our age, and he listens to who I used to listen to. That's who he's influenced by. He's, like, he's, he's really, influenced by yeah. a lot of people I grew up listening to. Like, we grew up listening to people in the same era and shit. Word. But that's why I relate to a lot of these Word. niggas, you know what I'm saying, that imitate Project Pat and shit, because, you know, I grew up listening to that shit, so. 
True, true, true. But you can't do it in a terrible way. Like <laughs> the half of you niggas are. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. I don't know when this came out. I feel like it's it's pretty new. Um, J Rock dropped a uh, a he single. Did drop something. Called, oh, called J Rock got the verse of the year so far on um but, but, on the track with him. Uh, Kendrick and Future. Yeah, yeah. But bro, yes, this man. this dog. This yeah, is J Rock got the verse of the year. This is right my now. anthem, yeah. dog. Like you play this every day before you go to work. What's you, it called? King it's King called Win. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. They got this championship theme going on. I feel like and this, the championship. Tour, you know what? I, yeah, championship tour. You know yeah. what? These niggas are smart, dog. Yeah. And and I feel like <laughs> these, these niggas, niggas are, are smart. smart. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and these I meant, niggas are smart. And, I'm, and I meant that <laughs> genuinely. I you know. know what I'm saying? That's the funny part. I you know, know you meant it genuinely, but it's just <laughs> cause all right. Cause here's what I feel like they're they're doing with this too. Cause um, there's a whole thing with, and even Beyonce, right? Yeah. Um, the the marching band culture, you know. What I'm oh, saying? she with, brought uh, that out. Um, with, with, HBC, oh. with HBCUs and like the whole thing, and I feel like they made a song just for you know, cause even when um that Ying Yang Twin song came up, which one? Yeah. But uh, that came, that became oh, yeah, a staple. Yeah, 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 that's true. Whenever you go Trick to Trick Daddy, um, shut up. It, it, yeah, word, bum, word, bum, I, bum, 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 word. bum, 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 Oh, sorry, sorry. But I feel like, I <laughs> uh-huh. feel like with those, okay. it was just kind of like unintentional. Like they just mm-hmm. were able to do it because because, the, because that's what that that was our shit. That's word, why I used it. You know word. what I'm saying? But then it, it wasn't even just because it was our shit. It was like the sound was you were able mm-hmm. to do that. True. You can't do a trap beat. With a with, with with trumpets and 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 drums and shit. You yeah, feel? you need bass. Bass is necessary. Exactly. Or I mean, whatever. Like just a, just the type of song it is. I feel like they made a song just to like. Okay, this is now. Or I feel like that's what it is. Like, this is the new. No, like, I understand. Yeah, I get what you saying. The hype song. Yeah. Like games and stuff. And I put myself in a position to like make that song a staple, dog. I yeah. feel like I feel like they think that way when they when they create music. True, certain, true. Yeah, certain artists will do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because but certain people getting put on like Kendrick, J. I heard J. Cole um during the NBA playoffs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, count it up. Count it up. Count, count it up. Count it. Count it. Count it. <laughs> oh, and the video down. for Uno, the video the what? video for this song for ATM was very Busta Rhymes ass. Oh, wow. that shit reminded me of Busta Rhymes Love big it. time. And like, yeah. that's why I love him so with the, all the yeah. nostalgia. He was Word. snapping the, on the nostalgia. Word. A second residual was, was just a second a second of rich. <laughs> I love that song so much. A second residual. And you I'm fucking your bitch and I get my All right. And um sidebar. Believe me or not, I don't care. Because I know I wouldn't lie about this. For the hey, past couple out. years. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm Whoa. tripping. No, no, Meek Fuck did it. get out. Yeah. Sorry about yes. that. Yeah, oh, no, no. You know what? Bro, low key. Is free. Yo. Low key. Shout Yo. out to Philly. I just went there the other day. Low key shout still fuck them Philly. niggas because. The 76ers beat the Heat. <laughs> How the fuck you expect to win against a team whose famous rapper just got out and oh. they playing in the city? Yo. Oh, you, no. How do you expect this to beat them you, niggas? Yo, like, come the fuck on, man. Like, there would be no justice The if odds you were won. stacked yeah, against us. Yeah. I, I would yo, be like, I would we would be, be hated. Mad. They would have like, like, created a beef. Yeah. Like, we can't beef with them. Like, oh, okay, y'all got meek. Fuck y'all. Fuck what? y'all. We would be enjoy oh, it, but fuck y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So hated. But um, but yo, man. shout out Meek getting out because you know what? Meek is on his like, yo, he's he's educated, man. I mean, yeah. he's always been educated, but yeah. he's definitely like infusing his life in his music. True. A lot. Well, he always was, and before, he's sharing his life experiences. And he's sharing so a lot more. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Yeah, and he still got that high energy with his, with yeah. his what he's known for. You so. thought I was finished? You better get finished. But um, yeah. sorry, like I was saying, sidebar, like the past couple years I've been listening to albums and I swear to you, I would always pick out the first single before the single comes out. So for instance, I was listening to The Future, I was like, oh shit, Mask Off is incredible, it's going to be his next single. Boom, <laughs> single. I'm listening to KLD, oh shit, ATM is incredible, it's going to be his first single. Boom, first single. What that mean, man? I should be a fucking AR. nr that's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> and a manager. But Word. anyway, that was just a little, you know, if you're looking sidebar tangent. Word. If you're if you're a rapper in the Miami Broward area and you're looking 
for managing. Just let for me s- listen to your tracks. For I'm somebody, like, you know what? This is what them crackers want to hear. For somebody to say, hey, <laughs> you give this nigga five percent, and he and he's gonna point and be like that one, and it's gonna change your career. Because <laughs> it's not gonna be the one you like. Trust Cardi me. B had a baby. You need that person. Oh yeah. shit, Cardi B did have a baby, and yeah. she's the, yo, I saw some <laughs> whack ass shit. Some people trying to fight her. What? She's fucking pregnant. What is wrong with oh, y'all? Yeah, watch with this magazine. Oh, what? sorry, sorry. What? Why? But I was like, you, you know, usually to see her get in a fight would be funny, but she's pregnant now. <laughs> why are you trying to fight a pregnant lady? What? They try to fight I, her I while she I think they pregnant, emptied bro. the store for her to shop. This mm. is what the caption said. Mm. And they were um, they were cussing. They were like, what well, fuck is she in that famous? Blah, 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 blah. Who the fuck she thinks she is? And like Damn. somebody said something. Come on here, fight me, bitch. You scared? Fight me. Like. She's why? pregnant. Like, what is wrong but, with but, you? But, but my hood question, but my shit, question is, why why are you shutting down the store? Yeah, that if that's true. And I was even, like, all right, that's got to right. You know what I'm saying? But and don't even, fight her, though. I'm not going to fight no pregnant ladies. Wrong and even, you? I feel like, <clears throat> yeah. even, even if I was like said celebrity, right? And I went somewhere and they were like, hey, we're going to shut down the store. I'm like. Don't shut down the store. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, why? Why? My approval rate will uh, spike. <laughs> it will plummet. It's like why would that be something you want? But I don't know. I guess That's the opposite of God's plan. <laughs> what? <Word. laughs> That's some real like. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, God's plan was a pretty pretty big video. He's filmed it in Miami. Yeah. And shit. <laughs> but then you find things out about it, and you're yeah. like, oh, I don't know. I genuine that one. Yo, was. I watched God's plan. The first time I watched it, if you watch it as just a average person who hasn't followed hip hop objectively. Wait. <laughs> anyway, like, no. I feel, like that's, <laughs> I feel like that's hella condescending to a lot of people. Wait, wait, wait. That's not condescending. Yo. If you're if you're a casual listener of music mm-hmm. and you didn't know who Drake was, you the only thing you know Drake from is Degrassi, mm-hmm. and you didn't know that he actually has a song with Fonte, stuff like that. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, are you trying to give him an excuse for the blackface? Because I give him no. No, I'm not giving him an excuse. Oh, okay. What I'm saying is like God's no plan didn't No feel, pass. God's plan for whatever reason, I don't know what it is for me, but it didn't feel that genuine. I was like, this is weird. Like, this is weird. Like, why is, why is this a music video? I'm well, yeah, it did confused. look set up. I feel like it's he weird. gave him the money before, and then for the video, they act surprised. Oh, it wasn't I don't think that. It, the whole scenario just felt weird. Like, when you look at it, just the way I felt about it uh. just didn't. Feel you right. feel like it wasn't genuine. You know, it didn't feel genuine, and I and that's just how I moved. So and there's like, a rumor that he copied it from XXX Tentacion. He not. It's not a rumor. No, no, no. Oh, it's not a rumor. XXX Tentacion, and I'm not uh, by any means a writer. XXX Tentacion, even though I think I fuck with. Is him. that how you say <laughs> his name? Yes, yeah. that's how you say his name. Okay. And he's actually it's Jamaican. Not XXX he's a Jama- he's Jamaican. He's Jamaican American. Mm. Really? But no, listen to his music. Give him a chance. And I don't, I don't listen to his stuff heavy, Not but <laughs> I listen to him. He's talented. Mm. He's I'll actually talented, and he's making he's actually making waves, man. But anyway, what he did, what Drake copied from him was I forgot what the um, what the challenge was, but it was like called like Helping Hand Challenge or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's right. XXX yeah. Tentacion, he's from like Deerfield or something like that. He was out in these streets. No, he's like from Lauder act- Hill. Somewhere, from, somewhere yeah. in Broward. My bad. But he Lakes was actually out here. here? Yeah, yeah, he's from Florida. He lives here. Yeah, he's yeah. a broad nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This this changes, changes, yeah, he be on one this, of the, Oh, now you support him, right? He changes he everything, team, No, but he's <laughs> yeah, now, he now, now And he's Jamaican. <laughs> now go to his... Now I didn't know he's Jamaican. To his album. Yeah, so I'm so now, regional. He, he was first like going at Drake about that. He's like, Drake, you're not even Jamaican, man. Like, and, oh, but anyway. Like I said the other day, Drake wants to be Jamaican more than he wants to be alive. Word. Yeah. To the point uh, where and from Miami, a, he wants to, to be a Miami from. Jama- I mean, to, a, to the point Jamaican where he'll have Miami. an illegitimate child. All right, go ahead. Damn. That's what we call That's, a zinger, people. We just got right. ourselves. Uh, but basically, the yeah, challenge was like helping hand. I, that might be wrong, but X was like out here, like recording himself and other people, like challenging other people to like donate and actually record themselves donating things that they bought to, I think, oh. charities, Big Brother, Little... And he was like, he went with money he spent, and like he like bought people TVs and other things just like to make them feel good, you know? Mm. And like that was dope, because mm. he was actually out there doing it, and nobody has been able to discredit what he was actually doing. Mm. Why? And then Drake dropped the Instagram post talking about, oh, I'm not into... Like immediately after he was doing that, I'm not into Instagram challenges, but... 
just go out there and show somebody some love and blah, blah, blah. some weak and then shit he made like a video that. about and it. then he made god's plan wow doing exactly what x was doing mm-hmm. more or less what? he was just wow. handing stacks that what well, ended up being reported that weren't even really his money it wasn't even really his money what, what do you oh, i didn't know that either the, wow the, the people you really, i could be wrong about that the fact check that the, the people he Don't really the people he really copied was blink 182 yeah <laughs> they did that yeah, well, there was oh. a they have a song and um I know this because I'm a music connoisseur. Uh, connoisseur. It was called the um, um, Blink He too. rocked chain wallets in 1995. I, I did. <laughs> I did. But I never liked them shit. But, but it was in, in 2005. I definitely mm. rocked wallet chain mm. in 2005. But, but um <laughs> but um yeah, that that a song called The Rock Show. And in the music video it was like, "Oh, we got X amount of, same thing like God's plan. We got X amount of money from the production company, and we're gonna do this with the money. And mind you, the whole song, the whole video wasn't about like donating money. They did do some just random shit, or, <laughs> like white people do. Yeah, but they did <laughs> like use some of the money do. to kind of like help people. And I and I think that's where Drake got the premise for the video from. Like if you watch, mm. if you if you go go back and watch, and Blink Drake is a music connoisseur. Yeah, go yeah, watch. That man he definitely is. Music, yeah, you probably like if you was into like punk rock back in the day, like Blink One Eighty Two, The Rock Show. Look at that music video. Check like that nigga got that idea just right from the. Check it out. Word. And how long have we been talking? Too to? long. So we about to shit the fuck up. Word. All right. That has been. Wait, I feel it. like we haven't covered everything. We, we though. have. We, we missed three haven't. months, bro. There's Word. so much. We missed three fucking we months. We didn't even Word. cover three Kanye's goddamn we summer didn't bitch and bastard motherfucking butts. We Word, didn't but. even cover hip hop's. So should we Golden do Child Kanye's meltdown? Uh, oh, oh man, Mister. You know what? That sounds like. Man, we're that's a that, that into a next episode. Yeah, we go, we're gonna have to talk. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I <laughs> said we bust for an hour. Bye, Pause. niggas. Word. Whoa. <laughs> wow. All yeah. right. So that's about an episode. On that note, ah! we're gonna wrap that up, and uh, we're gonna have some more opinions for you. We'll probably be less intoxicated next time. <laughs> so uh, uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> we My goodness, like, I'm hey, welcome, to welcome to the. What is uh, this? Where am I? It, what is it? And this it has is been fish class. Uh. <laughs> this has been Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Sir Black Stanley III, a.k.a. No More, a.k.a. Stop the Violence. Stop the Violence. Mm-hmm. Brap, brap, brap. And it's your boy, Mr. Dramatic, a.k.a. Wavy McBear, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, a.k.a. Lao Pak Chopra. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> B.k.a. Skip Beardless. <laughs> Where? A.k.a. Your mom's favorite. Blow up. And you know who it is. It's Friend. Boy Ice Cube Black, <laughs> aka Black Dynamite, aka Wade Bixby, used to be, aka <laughs> Shabby Ranks. Shabby Ranks. Shabby Ranks. Aka, you know who it is already when I drop the B Swiss. Armin. Hey, with the remix. Swiss. Armin. All right, I'll let it go a little longer. Pause. Armin. One more time. Swiss Army Alright, that's it. Right. Yo, You've I know, been allowed your allotted been amount of time. I know y'all been waiting to sing along, and we back. Word. We yes. Back. More sing-alongs for everybody. Word. Swiss Army <laughs> Nigga. Every episode. <laughs> Un- <laughs> One time. Word. Sound like a black sport. Swiss Army Nigga. Every episode. Every episode. Swiss Army Nigga. Yeah. Until 5 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Babies for everybody. 7 o'clock. I'm shooting the club. Until <laughs> next time. <laughs> That was black exploitation, black down in my rep. No, okay. Until next, <laughs> until next time, which won't be months from now. <laughs> Peace. Before you know it. Oops.